So it's been almost about 40 years since the founding of the France's far-right party, the National Front. Ever since, slowly and steadily, the party has risen to power and prominence. It's also been batting on the agenda of immigration from Middle East and Africa, the dominance of Brussels over Paris in defining the policies that control the French people, and also anti-elitism. Now, ahead of the final verdict of the race to the LSE Palace, has the far-right party in France done enough to win the support of the French public? Our next point gets you the details. For over 40 years, France's extreme right to National Front has steadily gained ground, challenging the traditional left-right political divide. Founded in 1972, the party combined several nationalist groups, including the neo-fascist Old Nouveau. Led by Jean-Marie Le Pen, it focused on increased state control, anti-elitism and immigration. A divided party, the FN remained on the fringes of French politics for a decade. But an alliance with the right in 1983 resulted in success in local elections, then in Europe, where the party won 10 seats. As the FN's influence continued to grow in the 1990s, the party switched its attention from the comfortably off to the working classes, anxious about globalization. Fourth in 1995's presidential election, the FN made steady progress in local elections, despite Le Pen's racist remarks and view that the Nazi gas chambers were a mere detail of history. In 1998, the FN split when number two Bruno Maigret left the party. Le Pen nonetheless reached the second round runoff of the 2002 presidential election. This sent shockwaves through the political establishment, although Le Pen failed to repeat the feat in 2007. His daughter Marine succeeded him in 2011, with similar priorities. Quit the euro, protect national identity, and fight against immigration and a new enemy, Islamic fundamentalism. But she shared the racist dialogue and distanced herself from her father's anti-Semitism, eventually expelling him from the party. Since 2012, the party has had a string of victories taking control of 11 towns, topping the polls in European parliamentary elections and achieving historic scores in municipal elections. In 2017, Le Pen reached the second round of the presidential election. Despite losing to Emmanuel Macron, she won a record 34% of ballots cast, translating to the support of 10.6 million voters. In 2018, the FN changed its name to Rassemblement National, or National Rally, and sets its sights on the presidential election of 2022. Focusing on the issue of purchasing power, Marine Le Pen continues trying to soften her image, and in April she got 23.15% of the votes in the election. This takes her into the second round to face Emmanuel Macron. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.